we gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The wise man Sirach gives the clear and simple guideline. If we are humble, we will find favor with God. A reading from the book of Sirach. My child, conduct your affairs with humility and you will be loved more than a giver of gifts. Humble yourself the more, the greater you are, and you will find favor with God. What is too sublime for you, seek not. Into things beyond your strength, search not. The mind of a sage appreciates proverbs, and an attentive ear is the joy of the wise. Water quenches a flaming fire, and alms atone for sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The just rejoice and exult before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to His name, whose name is the Lord. The Father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in His holy dwelling. God gives a home for the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. God, in your goodness, you have made a home for the poor. A bountiful rain you shower down, O God, upon your inheritance. You restored the land when it languished, your flock settled in it. In your goodness, O God, you provided it for the needy. God, in your goodness, you have made a home for the poor. The Old Covenant was marked by terrifying epiphanies so that the Israelites were filled with fear. In the new covenant, Jesus draws us to God with confidence and love. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, you have not approached that which could be touched in a blazing fire and gloomy darkness and storm and a trumpet blast 
and avoid speaking words such that those who heard begged that no message be further addressed to them. No, you have approached Mount Zion and the city of the living God and the heavenly Jerusalem and countless angels in festal gathering and the assembly of the firstborn enrolled in heaven and God the judge of all and the spirits of the just made perfect and Jesus the mediator of a new covenant and the sprinkled blood that speaks more eloquently than that of Abel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Take my yoke upon you, says the Lord, and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees, and the people there were observing him carefully. He told the parable to those who had been invited noticing how they were choosing the places of honor at the table. When you are invited by someone to a wedding feast, do not recline at table in the place of honor. A more distinguished guest than you may have been invited by him, and the host who invited both of you may approach you and say, Give your place to this man, and then you would proceed with embarrassment to take the lowest place. Rather, when you are invited, go and take the lowest place, so that when the host comes to you, he may say, My friend, move up to a higher position. Then you will enjoy the esteem of your companions at the table. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Then he said to the host who invited him, When you hold a lunch or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or your wealthy neighbors in case they may invite you back and you have repayment. Rather, when you hold a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind. Blessed indeed will you be because of their inability to repay you, for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po. Mabuti na lang po. Mayroon pong nakaupo sa harapan. Kasi baka literal ninyong susundin ang sinabi ng ating Panginoon na kapag kayo napunta sa isang handaan and this is a celebration Baka puro nandun lang kayo sa likod, wala nang uupo dito sa harap. Ang ating mga pagbasa po ngayon ay patungkol sa pagpapakumbaba. At ang ating mga pagbasa din ay nagsasabi kung papaano. Kung papaano ka maging humble. Kung titignan po natin sa first book, 
Sa first reading na ating binasa sa Book of Sirach, sinabi, My child, conduct your affairs with humility and you will be loved more than a giver of gifts. Conduct yourself with humility. Pero papaano? Sabi po nila, when you know yourself, you will become humble. Kapag mas lalo mo pang makikilala ang sarili mo, matututo ka kung paano magpapakumbaba. Dahil, kapag makikilala mong sarili mo, una, malalaman mo kung anong limitasyon mo sa buhay. Malalaman mo kung anong limitasyon mo sa buhay. Kahit gaano ka kagaling, kahit gaano ka katalino, kahit gaano ka kayaman, marami kang limitasyon. At mayroong pagkakataon na yung ibang tao ay mas hihigit pa sa'yo. Hindi man siguro sa material na bagay, pero sa kasiyahan, mas masaya sila. Pero kung pagiging kontento ang usapan, mas kontento sila. Siguro kung pamilya ang pag-uusapan, mas buo sila. At kung ikukumpara mong sarili mo sa mga bagay na yon, sa mga taong na yon na meron sila, makikita at makikita mo kung ano ang kulang. At makikita at makikita mo kung hanggang saan ang kaya mo. At makikita at makikita mo na merong mas angat at meron din mas mababa sa iyo. At dahil doon, pag makikita mo ang iyong limitasyon sa buhay, alam mo kung saan ka lulugar. Alam mo. Lalong-lalo na sa buhay ng ibang tao. Alam mo kung saan ka lulugar. Pangalawa, dahil sa alam mo ang mga limitasyon mo, matututo ka kung makinig. Kung paano makinig. Ika nga, dahil hindi mo alam lahat ng bagay. Kaya nga yung mga estudyante natin, mayroong guru na nagtuturo sa sports, mayroong nagtuturo na coach. Kahit hindi sila naglalaro mismo, pero alam nila kung paano gagawin. Alam mo kung paano makinig. At kapag nakikinig ka, matututo ka kung paano magpakumbaba. Lalong-lalo na pagdating sa harap ng Diyos, kung titignan natin ang ikalawang pagbasa, nang dahil kay Jesus na bumaba dito sa lupa, ang Diyos na akala natin ay napakalayo na hindi tayo naririnig, na hindi natin maabot, ay siya mismo bumaba dito sa lupa para makipamuhay sa atin, para mo mahawakan, makita, maramdaman. At sa pamamagitan ng kanyang dugo at pagkamatay sa krus, na ilapit tayo ngayon sa ating Ama at binigyan tayo ng buhay na walang hanggan na nagsisimula dito sa lupa. Nang dahil sa Panginoong Yesus, meron na tayong dahilan para harapin ang Panginoon. Nang dahil sa Kanya. Kaya ako magsasabi ka, ay hindi ko na kailangan. Hindi ko na kailangan ng ating Panginoon. Dahil mabuti naman ako. Dahil wala akong ginagawang masama. Wala akong inaapakang maliliit na tao. Okay na ako. For sure, sigurado. 
Diretso sa langit ang buhay ko. Hindi ko sila kailangan. But then, it is only because of Jesus who gave His life for us na nagkaroon tayo ng panibagong buhay, ng panibagong kahulugan sa harap ng Diyos. Kaya nga yung ating mga pagbasa sa Ebanghelyo, yung pagbasa sa Ebanghelyo, ang ating Panginoong Yesus ay nangusap una doon sa mga imbitado sa kasal at ikalawa doon sa nag-imbita. Sinabi niya doon sa mga naimbitahan na kagaya niya na inoobserbahan din siya. Huwag kang assuming na basta-basta ka nalang uupo doon sa VIP, sasabihin, hindi mo ba ako kilala kung sino ako? Hindi mo ba ako kilala? Ako nagpagawa nito. Ako ang leader nito. Mayaman ako. Slap soil ka lang. Hampas lupa. Pero sinasabi ng ating Panginoon, Huwag kang assuming. Huwag kang assuming. Dahil baka yung upuan o yung posisyon o lugar na kinakatayuan mo o yung kinuha mo ay meron nang nakalagay dyan na pangalan. Hindi nga po, di ba? Sa mga relasyon, ganun din. Huwag kang assuming na gusto ka dahil siguro sa puso ng isang tao, meron nang nakaukit dyan. Huwag kang basta-basta pumasok. Huwag kang basta-basta kunin yung lugar ng taong nakaukit na sa puso niya. Kahit ano nagiging dahilan, mangangalo niya ka, mamumwersa ka, gagawa ka ng mga paraan, para isidus yung isa. Kahit alam mong may may-ari na. Sinasabi lang na ating Panginoon, huwag kang assuming. Maghintay ka. Maghintay ka, natawagin ka, at siya na mismo ang aangat sa'yo. Huwag kang assuming. Kaya sa mga invited guests, yun ang sinasabi ng ating Panginoon. Dahil kapag ikaw ay masyadong asumera, asumero, mapapahiya ka. Mapapahiya ka. Give your place to this man and then you would proceed with embarrassment. Dahil, tatayo ka, aalis ka, lilipat ka doon sa pinakaabang lugar. At lahat ng pangyayaring yun ay makikita ng mga tao sa paligid. Pag masyado kang assuming, mapapahiya ka. Pagkatapos ng usap naman ng ating Panginoon, doon sa nag-imbita. Doon sa nag-imbita. Siguro po sa mga pagkakataon na tayo ay nakakaangat sa buhay, na sa mga aspeto ng buhay, siguro sa material, sa edukasyon, sa relasyon, may mga pagkakataon na makakaangat tayo kaysa sa iba. Pero anong paanyaya sa atin ng ating Panginoon? Sana, sa mga pagkakataong ikay nakakaangat, wala ka na sanang hidden agenda para umasa pa nagawin din ito sa iyo ng iba. Kumbaga may gagawin ka, pagkatapos you will ask something in return. Magpapakabait ka, magbibigay ka, 
Pagkatapos nun, oh, bigyan mo rin ako. Bigyan mo rin ako. May gagawing pabor? Hihingi ka rin ng pabor. Minsan po, hindi yun palaging maganda. Paminsan siguro, may point din naman. Pero kapag yun ang lagi mong nasa isip, kapag ikaw ay nagbibigay, na dapat matatanggap mo rin yung ROI, yung return of investment, minsan dapat masigit pa. Sa lahat ng iyong ginagawa, ah siguro hindi na yung maganda. Dahil kapag ikaw ay nagbibigay, it is because should be in your own goodness para sa ikabubuti ng taong binigyan mo. Hindi ito para sa iyo. Nagbibigay ka dahil gusto mong makatulong. Nag-iimbita ka dahil alam mong wala sala. Salat sila. May pangangailangan sila. And you don't need something in return. Sometimes siguro may mga pagkakataon talaga. Pero not all the time. Kaya pinapaalala lang po sa atin ng Panginoon, kapag mas nakikilala mo ang iyong sarili, mas matututo ka kung paano magpakumbaba. Dahil alam mo, may pagkakataon na ikaw ay makakaangat. Pero may pagkakataon na ikaw na naman ay yung nasa ibaba. And when we know that we are humble, we can see not only ourselves, but the God who is in us. Kaya't mangungusap ka sa Panginoon ng buong pagpapakumbaba, Lord, ito po ako. Ito yung mga pangangailangan ko. Matututo kang magpakumbaba sa harap ng ating Panginoon. At anong gagawin niya? For you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteousness. Siya na mismo mag-aangat sa iyo. Siya na mismo ang magbibigay ng kabayaran sa lahat ng ginawa mo para sa iba. Because He sees all your longings. He sees all your desires. At kung anong mas maganda para sa iyo. And so may the good Lord grant what is the deepest desires of your heart. Pero sana matuto tayo kung paano magpakumbaba. Please stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God our Father, in your kingdom, the one who exalts himself will be humbled. 
and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. May we learn to exalt you in humility as we say, Faithful God, help us to remain faithful to you. Faithful God, help us remain faithful to you. Make us, your church, remain humble as we shun the temptation of clericalism and ideology. Help us stay true only to the gospel, we pray. Faithful God, help us remain faithful to you. Make all those who govern compassionate enough to remember the plight of our poor and oppressed brethren. May they always be guided by the light of your truth, we pray. Faithful God, help us remain faithful to you. Steer in us the desire to serve one another in humility, especially those of us who are lost, least, and last, we pray. Faithful God, help us remain faithful to you. Welcome our departed loved ones into your eternal em embrace. Comfort those of us who are left mourning, we pray. Faithful God, help us remain faithful to you. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Faithful God, help us remain faithful to you. Faithful Father, in your spirit, help us remember what help us remember that we can respond to your call towards mission only through your grace and your grace alone. Through Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these sacred offerings, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son, by whose obedience 
we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. In the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you
Крис Нилу. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe to eternal life. Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 2, 2022. We invite you to participate in our Novena Masses, which will start from September 23 to October 1, 2022. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Nais rin po namin ipaalam sa inyong lahat 
na simula September 3, 2022, every first Saturday of the month, ay magkakaroon na pumuli tayo ng dawn procession na magsisimula sa alas 4 ng umaga. Maraming salamat po. Please stand. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa banal na misa at patuloy po natin ipagdasal ang isa't isa. Mag-ingat po kayo mamaya sa pag -uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God Almighty always keep every adversity far from you and in His kindness pour out upon you the gifts of His blessing. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to His words that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and right and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, oils, and images, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.